Hey guys, what's up? This afternoon I'm going to help my brother put up his website, a portfolio website, and the only challenge is that we only have two hours to do that. So it's definitely going to be challenging. Until then, got some meetings coming up and I hope it's going to be an awesome week. to arrive and we got two hours to build his website. Now, because we're so limited on resources, we, mainly time, but also money, um, we're gonna have to use some kind of a template, some kind of a platform to help us, you know, do it quickly. We don't have time right now to do a custom design and to start coding the website. We're gonna have to use a platform like Wix or Squarespace. I haven't decided yet. I have a feeling that we're gonna go with Squarespace. Um, that will also allow my brother to, you know, maintain the website and, you know, be, be able to update it later and change it and continue working on it after those two hours. A lot of web designers I speak to feel kind of like threatened maybe by those platforms like Wix and Squarespace because they feel like clients won't need them anymore or they'll have less work. But first of all, you have to understand that for a lot of types of clients, like my brother, who don't, don't have money right now, and I don't have time to you know, help him for more than two hours, this is, an, this is a great solution. If we didn't have that, he would probably have nothing or have something totally horrible. So these solutions are great for very certain type of clients, but that doesn't mean that web design is dead or you're not gonna be able to make money as a web designer. Big companies still pay a lot of money for custom design, and our profession is only growing so you don't have to be scared of, of those platforms you can you need to find a way to use them for your benefit right let's get down to work Okay, we have spent like 30 minutes trying to figure out the Squarespace interface and it's totally horrible yeah, and it failed it. me. <laughs> yeah, we, we more than 30 minutes. It was a complete waste of time. It's simply, you can't work with it. It's horrible. I don't know what the guys doing the UI there are doing, but it's completely horrible. We're gonna try weeks now. Okay, weeks have also failed us, and now we're going to try a third tool called I Am Express, which is developed by my friend who's called Jonathan, and we're gonna give that a try. So it's been two hours, actually it's been three hours because I was putting my son to sleep, but actually we've worked two hours exactly on the website and I wanna go over with you to show you what happened. So we started with like 20 or 30 minutes of planning and thinking about what we're trying to achieve with the website and kind of laying out the architecture. We kind of sketched this uh, layout that we wanted to work with for different sections and we we needed only a tool to <laughs> lay out and again the reason the quickest thing for me was to build it in webflow exactly how i wanted but then my brother wouldn't be able to you know re uh, you know edit the 
text and upload new images, change links later. So I needed to work with a content management system, a CMS, uh, that will allow him to take over the project once we're done today. So the first thing we tried to do was work with Squarespace. The reason is that they just have really beautiful templates and I thought if we can just change them, uh, it will be great solution. But it turned out that their UI is so difficult to understand that we really, we couldn't accomplish what we were trying to do. So after 35 minutes, um, we gave up and we gave try two weeks. Uh, now weeks have, I don't know, I kind of, they always feel like not such a good design, but I thought that at least their UI would be for, I don't know, more simple for like common users. And I'm actually a pretty tech guy, you know, so I'm a designer. I, I believe I can work with, uh, you know, software and stuff like that, but I could not get it to do what I wanted to do. So after like, 20 minutes we saw that already one hour has passed and we we're not gonna try to you know we're not gonna be able to reach the layout that we sketched out we tried a third solution which is called i am express it's a product that's actually developed by a friend of mine and i never worked with it i said let's give it a try and we tried and actually we could really really simply accomplish what we're trying to do let me show you the end result can't say it's my best design ever but it will get the point across. So the first one section is uh, with an image of my brother, then there is kind of a mission statement and then some text about the biggest project he ever worked on and some um, apps he did the sound for and then some movies he did the sound for and a contact form. So it's a very simple site, but we were able to get it to look like the way we wanted it. And he's now, He's got something, you know, live on the air. For some reason, the color is so weird on the screen right now. But anyway, the point is that he's got something live now that's being connected to his domain, and that's the major point. So we're gonna be able to add better photography in the future. We're gonna be able to add better text, and you always improve on that design, but the point is that he's got something live now, and that's the point, and we were able to accomplish that. So I think that's all for today. Hope you had a productive day and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.